The skies today, well, they're nice and calm, but I've seen all types of skies, and sometimes I've seen the skies open up into the form of heavy rain, and that heavy rain creates flooding. But there are ways that we can create landscapes that are floodwise, and here are some examples. Take a look at this picture. It shows a downspout, and if you look at the downspout, it's redirecting the water away from the foundation of the home onto a surface that's gonna absorb the moisture, absorb that rainfall, such as grass or even stones where the water can filter its way through and almost be dragged right down into the ground itself. Rain barrels are a good idea too because they help collect water so it puts less stress on some of the infrastructure. It's a good use of water because then later on we can water our gardens with the rainwater. Okay, this picture here shows us how to slow the flow and we're gonna let it sink into the ground and spread over an area. This is an example of a dry riverbed. And you can see how the water will flow over this area and then it'll filter nice deep into the ground. Nice and slow and easy. Now what I really want you to think about is building a rain garden. Okay, what is a rain garden? Well, you can see what it does is it takes water from instead of flowing down a road, it diverts it into your landscape. So by diverting it into your landscape, it makes it better and more flood wise. But at the same time, it creates a really nice landscape feature on your property. So if you want something that looks good and also helps with floods, it's a rain garden. <laughs>